How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Ace and today we are checking out Gigi Delana and the Gigi Vibes covering The Animals, House of the Rising Sun. So I did get a little bit of information about the group. So they got together around the time the pandemic started and they started making music and doing covers. And from what I understand, Gigi is nicknamed the Queen of Covers. And I learned the names of everybody else in the group as well. So Jake is on bass, Romeo is on drums, John is on keyboard, and then in the description it says Julius, but in the title and a couple other comments it said Oyas. So let me know which one it is or if it's both of them, I don't really know. But that person's on guitar. So yeah, I'm excited to check out this one. So I say we go ahead and get started. But before we do, don't forget to like and subscribe. It's cool, it's free, it tells me I'm doing the right thing, going in the right direction, all those good things. Don't forget to check out the description of the video as well. There's a lot of cool things in there. All my socials are in there. You can go over there and say hi. Hello. If you're interested in supporting the channel and getting a priority request in, you can check out the Buy Me A Coffee link. The link to the video we're reacting to is also in there. And without further ado, Gigi Delana, House of the Rising Sun. Here we go. There is a house in New Orleans They call the rising sun And it's been the ruin Of many a poor boy And God, I know I'm one Today's video is sponsored by Aura. Back in April, over 2.9 billion people's social security numbers were leaked on the dark web from the national public data. That's 35% of the world's population, and for comparison, there's 345 million people in the US. That's kind of scary. This information is what employers and others use to do background checks. Some of the things stolen include a person's full name, their address, their date of birth, their phone number, and most importantly, their social security number. You know, kind of basically everything that people kind of typically like to keep private. And members of the hacker group have reportedly released all of the information for free online. So anybody can go get it. Personally, I kind of don't like that. I like keeping my stuff. It's mine. <laughs> In fact, someone a few years ago actually filed my tax return without me knowing. That was kind of not a fun process to go through. But to be honest, I'm not worried anymore because I use Aura. Aura monitors your personal data, including your social security numbers, across billions of data points like the dark web and public court records to detect and alert you of any potential theft. They'll even give you up to $5 million in identity theft insurance if the worst case scenario happens. They also provide a bunch of other features to keep you safe online, all in one app. The whole setup took less than five minutes. One of the coolest features I saw when I was going through the app was I could see all my purchases in one location. 
That's kind of a really big deal in case someone was to spend my money without me knowing. There's even a guide that tells you what to do if you think your identity has been stolen, complete with videos to follow along with. You can go to my link, aura.com slash aceofade, to try 14 days for free. That'll be enough time for Aura to find out if you have any personal data that's been exposed. I definitely don't want to leave my data out for just anyone to take it, and if you don't want to do that either, go to aura.com slash aceofade to try free for two weeks. A big thank you to Aura for the sponsorship, and now back to the video. I am kind of blown away here. Like, I, I wasn't expecting, like, a jazz blues version of this song. It's just, it's, it's awesome <laughs> it it hit so hard as soon as the instrument started in like there, there there's a hint of rock in here but like the the overall feel that i get from here is like a, a big band jazz style and then with the guitar coming in and it just feels like it's adding in blues to it as well like it's wow and i mean her singing like just starting off with no instruments and then she she can hit some high notes like so wow <laughs> and like i guess their their studio got bigger from the the last reaction that i did because i think that one was from a couple years ago this one's a little more recent so it does kind of look like they upgraded their their music space as well which is awesome and Gigi's like singing style here it kind of reminds me of a little bit of angelina jordan where hers is kind of like a mix of jazz and soul and with here i mean it, it's kind of that but adding more elements i feel like like, because we're adding, like, the rock aspect as well. And just, like, she her, her singing style here is so powerful. And she's definitely showing, like, she has, like, some vocal range and, like, how powerful her singing style is and, like, how powerful her vocals are. And it shows that she has versatility as well, and I think that's great. And looking at some of the instruments, Romeo's drum set looks a little unique as well. Like it doesn't look like a, a, a standard drum kit. It, to me, it looks like a, a bit of a hybrid because one of the cymbals looks real and then one of them kind of looks like it would be part of an electronic drum set. So to me, that looks kind of unique because I'm used to seeing one or the other, but mixing them together is definitely interesting. And then Jake's bass, like I've seen guitars like that, but I don't think I've seen a bass without the, the top of the guitar. I, I think that's really interesting. And then I did notice it, John, like he has two different keyboards here, whereas in the last one that I saw, I think he only had one. And I do like that. I think that's awesome. But yeah, I'm, I'm really enjoying this performance. I definitely need to check out more. Let's go ahead and get back to it. So here we go.
The more and more that song went on, the more and more I realized, like, yeah, it, like, it, it, there is a little hint of, like, kind of like an Amy Winehouse or an Angelina Jordan kind of, like, singing style going on there, but at the same time, like, it's only just a minuscule part, and she's, like, she's singing in her own style, and I, I it's unbelievably awesome. And like we we got a guitar solo, which like it like at first like, the guitar to me had a bit of a blues to it, and then with the guitar solo it just it went straight into rock, and I I think that was awesome. the The whole song was just fantastic. I'm remembering that I have heard like a one or two covers of this. The one that I can think of right now is Five Finger Death Punch, which I mean at the time it was it was a pretty solid cover, but listening to this. <laughs> Like this one definitely trumps that. Like there, there's no question. But listening to this, it just kind of reminds me. Like list, like looking back at that that version, it kind of just looks like they kind of overdid it a bit. Like they they kind of added too much to their version. And here, I think it was just the right amount. The only thing that I would say maybe a slight complaint is I didn't get to hear that 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 you know like they do in the original song. Like like they they made this their own version, and I think that's fantastic. But I still think it would have been cool to at least hear that one time. You know, just just for one little like split second, I think it would have been cool. The other thing was just that like where it zoomed out and it did the subscribe thing, that thing threw me off. So I was like, did I just break the video? It threw me, like, it scared me. I was like, oh no, I messed it up. <laughs> but it was it was just an effect to go subscribe to their channel. And I, I totally understand that. Which, by the way, I just did. You you should always follow these artists. You know, it's, it's definitely a good idea. And sometimes, I'm gonna be honest, I forget. It's, it's kind of a bad habit, you know, but I remember it this time. So that effect actually did work. But yeah, Gigi vibes, Gigi Delana, Fantastic performance. Definitely would not mind checking out more. If y'all have any suggestions or anything I should know about, definitely drop those in the comments below. Would love to check those out. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It's cool. It's free. Tells me I'm doing the right thing, going in the right direction, all those good things. Don't forget to check out the description of the video as well. There's a lot of cool things in there. All my socials are in there. You can go over there and say hi. Hello. The release schedule. I always drop on the socials a couple days early, so if you would like a sneak peek as to what's coming out the following week, that's the best way to do that. If you're interested in supporting the channel and getting a priority request in, you can check out the Buy Me a Coffee link. Each request is only $5 and it helps me out a bunch. The link to the video we reacted to is also in there. And if you made it to the end of the video, comment hashtag House of the Rising Sun. I think that's it for this reaction. I'll check you out in the next one. Bye, guys.